Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. According to Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 through 20, these were the last words of Jesus Christ to his disciples before ascending into heaven. This is also known as the Great Commission, Jesus' final instruction to his followers to go out into the world and teach the Word of God. For John Hopler and the members of Great Commission churches, these words are their life's mission. The Great Commission churches is all about the good news of Jesus Christ, that He's the Son of God, that He came to die on the cross for our sins, that He was raised the third day, and that He's coming back again, and that all who believe in Him receive the gift of eternal life. Our desire is to see this message go out to the entire world, and we do this by planting churches and raising up pastors to go plant more churches. At the Pastors and Leaders Conference in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri, Around 400 leaders have come together to learn from each other and discuss God's message. But we'd like every church to become... Pastor Herschel Martindale was challenged to give his life to the Great Commission and is one of the founders of this movement. It was at a pastor's conference in Houston, Texas with Dr. Bill Bright, founder of Campus Crusade for Christ, that I heard him say, you need to have a personal commitment and a strategy to be a part of reaching this world with the gospel of Jesus Christ in this generation. Later on that same day, we had a little break and Dr. Bright came to a table where we were having coffee and he said, I have two questions to ask you. The first is this, do you really believe that God wants you to be a part of reaching this world with the gospel in this generation? I was hesitant, but each of us said yes. Then he said, the second question is this, if all Christians are doing what you're doing, will the world be reached with the gospel in this generation? That challenge and those questions changed my life. Our motto is New Testament Christianity in action today. And one of the uniquenesses is our plurality of leadership. In almost all of our churches, we have at least two or three pastors co-equally leading together. And then those pastors are trained, usually right within the local church, before they're ever a pastor. We seek to mentor them, we seek to get them involved in the life of the church. And as they develop, as they grow in their character based on Titus and Timothy, then at some point in their life when others concur, we ordain them as a pastor and they begin then functioning, usually in a full-time way, helping to pastor the church. Great Commission churches began in the summer of 1970 as a grassroots movement when 30 college-age Christians drove to campuses across the southwestern United States sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with students. From there, churches were planted in college campuses, then U.S. communities, and eventually in Latin America, Europe, and Asia. Great Commission churches have a real focus on reaching the youth. We design our Sunday services and many of our meetings the music, the teachings, and the general atmosphere to be something that would really appeal to young people. The high school leadership training event held in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is one of the many conferences attracting young people from all over the world to learn the importance of the Great Commission. When you look at the stats, 35% of my parents' generation claim to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. With this next generation, the millennials, only 4% claim to know Christ. So we think the next five to seven years of youth culture will determine the next 50 to 70 years of American church history. So that's why we take youth ministry seriously in Great Commission churches. Well, it was years ago I got connected with Great Commission churches, and at that point I, I began to meet people that had more than just a religion. They, they really had relationships with, with Jesus. And, so I began to discover that and find a relationship with him myself and, and find that he loves me uh, and, and wants me to know him. That's when I, I really began to live uh, real life and, and discover the, the fullness of life that I think he wants us to have. And while there is a lot of diversity from church to church, 
They all share the same heartbeat and the same values. Well, we hold a very high value in the scriptures and we recognize the scriptures are there not only to be believed but to be lived out. And in fact, we would say that the real essence of spiritual maturity is not just what a person knows about the Bible, but how he lives it. I work with our Asia ministry, where we are deeply committed to reaching the whole world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We desire and we dream that every member and every family and every church would be dedicated to the making of disciples of all the nations, that the kingdom of God, God's kingdom, may come on earth as it is now in heaven. We believe the local church is God's vehicle for reaching the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is where members and pastors are trained to be witnesses for Christ and to grow in character and in ministry skills. I have been accepted into an amazing community um, filled with people who accept people from all different backgrounds and histories and um, who have really displayed the love of Christ. A part of the DNA of our churches is to be sending out church planning teams. For example, our church in Columbus, Ohio was started in 1973 and they have been instrumental in starting over 25 churches in other places. Uh, now in our church in West Virginia, we have a plan to plant churches throughout the state of West Virginia so that we might spread the gospel to more and more people. The Great Commission churches partner with other worldwide ministries in order to fulfill their God-given mission. Bill Bright said before he died, let's put away our logos and our egos to make Jesus Christ number one. We agree. That's why we are united with the Global Pastors Network, which Dr. Bright founded before he died, and with pastors and Christians and leaders and churches everywhere throughout the world so that we can see the good news of Jesus Christ spread throughout the entire world in this generation. But we know that you're here right now. Great Commission Churches is based in the United States and has a special focus on communities with college campuses. In addition, GCC partners with churches in Canada, Europe, Asia, and Latin America. If you would like more information on Great Commission Churches and to find out how you can become involved in carrying out God's mission to the world, call 1-740-964-1002. Or visit Great Commission Church's website at www.gccweb.org.